right beyond the blue rc i got my uh nano cps on the uh, workbench today and i installed a brushless upgrade that's really for the micro cpx but i installed it in the micro cps i've actually had this for like probably four years i just uh realized that well when i originally got it four years ago i really <laughs> realized it was for the nano cpx which is fine i thought it would still work i figured they're not that much different well it turns out they are because here in the directions here that is the motor they're showing to be removed from the stock micro CPX. And I looked at that pin connector and I was like, oh, that's not what they have on the Nano CPS. Which I'll show in a minute, but I mean, so this is the installation instructions for the brushless system. So it's showing how to remove the stock motor, which is pretty easy coming out of the stock frame i am of course not running a stock e-flight frame I'll show that in a minute so and as you can see that pin right there where's my finger at right there that pin right there goes into this female receptacle whatever you want to call it and the nano cps does not have that so there was that was that's not going to work so when i originally bought it <laughs> it was just like frustrating didn't know what to do and i just shelved it and honestly didn't think about it for gosh yeah like four years i've had this thing i had other things going on other projects other things happening so i just one of those things that just kind of got forgotten about Fortunately, but this is a uh, rack on heli uh, fiberglass fuselage and a rack on heli carbon fiber and aluminum frame kit that I had installed on this. So that was the whole reason for actually getting. The brushless kit because when I installed this frame kit it made the uh, the old nano CP quite a bit heavier so the brushed motor just couldn't cut it as far as getting it off the ground it's just it's not it's not crazy heavy but it's just heavier a lot heavier than the stock so that was a problem. So I went with a brushless upgrade because it needed it. And then I was like, oh no, this is for the Nano CPX, which I knew, but I thought it would work. And I was looking at the connectors. I'm like, oh dear. And like I said, I got frustrated, but I dug it out tonight and thought, you know what? I just remembered that I had this, got some free time. So, these are the kind of connectors that it's that it has, Nano yeah, CPS, and the uh, I think we're on version three now. So there's Nano CPS, Nano CPS two, and Nano CPS three. And this is the Nano CPS. So this is the first one. So the Nano CPX, then the Nano CPS, then you have the Nano CPS two and the Nano CPS three. So they're like on version four right now. This is like version two of this airframe. But that's the connector that I had to modify. So I basically cut this off a spare cordless brushed motor and then strip the, the rubber insulation off the wires and soldered it to these two pins 
here for the motor slash ESC this all this this, this goes into this goes here and into the ESC and of course the motor goes into the ESC and then the power everything comes goes goes back into this ESC so I had to use this somehow I had to get this to work so I soldered it my soldering is not great but it did got the job done I'm not a I'm super awesome at soldering that's terrible actually but it's also tiny tiny wires that didn't help that did not help so there's that now these are the cordless motors so this is the stock motor that I pulled out of it and originally I tried just using the connector with the little um, pins that are joints, whatever you want to call them, that are inside the connector. So I basically got rid of this. I just wanted to use the connector itself and and put the um, so basically have the connector with the little. Um, connectors that I'm trying to, anyway, you know what I'm trying to say. So I wanted to plug that into the, basically the connector without any wires in it. And it kind of worked, but it was intermittent. I really, I really wasn't getting a good connection with it. So I kind of scrapped that idea and went, said, you know what, I guess I got to solder this thing. So that's what I did. And I see me getting a little, see me getting more consistent Seem to be getting more consistency with it now. It's firing up every time, pretty much. Knock on wood. But, yeah. Turned out pretty, pretty good. So because I'm running the rack on frame, I had to remove this servo. So I gotta take these one, two, three screws out. So get this servo out of the way. And there's a screw behind it can kind of see it there and that screw releases the um, motor retention bracket and then you can take the stock motor out and then put the brushless motor in so I had to remove that servo to get to that screw and then I had to remove these because I wanted to remove this thing here these screws are right there and they're hard to get to because that's kind of in the way so that's what I did but yeah however the uh, yeah because these little grommets kept popping off on me and it was just hard to get them back on with it mounted to, mounted to the frame so I had to take this board off to get them back on there it's kind of a pain these things are but and I put it all back together and then it wasn't flying right because my first go at it was just using the connector itself and just to plug in the, the pin connector into <laughs> to one of those connectors without the wires in it and it worked sort of but it was just giving me inconsistency so sometimes it would fire up sometimes it wouldn't so then I went to round two and soldered it so that's basically that so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the canopy back on it here let's see Like that, 
so it's all the way, I think. There we go. And we'll put the canopy back on it. Here. Hope this thing doesn't give me any grief. Let me take the glasses off for a second. I can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to do this on camera. Just so you don't have dead air. So at least you're seeing me do something here. These little helicopters are just so tiny. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna get the back two on there. All right, there we go. Canopy is on. Okay, now I'm gonna throw a battery in. This is an E-Flight 200 milliamp. Amp finger is totally in the way. 200 milliamp, 45C. It's an old battery, so I need some new batteries. I think that would help my issues as well with this thing so we'll power it up there we go power it up so it's not a hole in the other one's on a hole and that is this is the ready to fly model so that's why i'm running the transmitter i need to bind it to my dx7s at some point Right, set it down. Let it arm. And she is armed. All right. Okay. Guess it would help if I had it in the shot, eh? Let's take it out of the bottle hold here. Let's zoom out some. There we go. Out of final hold, got a blue light, that's a good sign. Swash goes forward, swash goes backwards, swash goes left, swash goes right. So that's good. We want that. All right, get these papers out of the way so they don't fall all over the place. I want that. So we're going to spool it up. I'm not going to fly it right here. So it does spool up. But if you will fly, definitely that brushes motor is way more power than that little uh, brush tail motor. But So I'm going to set it up on the floor here, I think. Let's get some distance here. All right, so I'll put the camera down a little bit. Because these batteries are so shot, I'm not really going to get a lot of flight time out of this. I know I'm not. This is just going to be a demonstration to show that it does fly. With this setup, it will fly. It just doesn't fly very well because these batteries, these batteries are shot. So set her down. Come back around. Here. All right. Well, let's see. Are we in the? Yep, we're in the camera. All right, so we're gonna take off. And safe move. But we'll fly. Just not for very long. Damn, my Then crashed. That's because. That's because it just won't fly very long. These batteries are just shot. Unfortunately, 
I know. I know you didn't like that. So, bring it back in. Bring it back in. Disconnect this battery here. So she will fly, just not not for very long. But at least I'm getting some height with it. And I just charged these back up. So I don't know. They're old. I mean. What are you gonna do? They are old. So transmitter on. Power this back on. All right, so we're powered back up. Make sure this wasn't a fluke and she still powers up. Blue light, we're in safe mode. So yeah, she, she works. I think I just need better batteries, basically. So yeah. Well, I think that's gonna do it for this video. Please like, subscribe, smash that notification bell, and uh, keep on RCing out there.